Hi, good morning. Um, today's gonna be a nice chill little vlog and we're gonna go on an adventure here soon But before I you know start doing all the aesthetic bullshit and like driving and talking about whatever in life um, Real quick guess what I found out last night Did you guys know that I, The phrase is the coast is clear Because I've been going my whole 23 years of life thinking it was the ghost is clear I've honestly never felt more fucking stupid. Anyway, uh, good morning again, I guess. Doors. Um, almost got kind of lost on my way here because since we are in the middle of like Nowheresville, New York, my data cut out at one point, and so my Google Maps stopped working. And I really, honestly, I had no fucking clue where I was. And we're also in the part of like New York State where there's a lot of um, what's the word I'm looking for? Confederate flags, yes, and churches that are a beautiful, beautiful white color with 
stark red doors, which really just uh, scares the shit out of me. Yeah, so I was like driving for a long time just out on this long winding road with like no genuine idea of where I'm going, but thank fuck my data kicked back in. And I was only like two feet away from this place this whole like entire time. So I guess no worries there. I just love like being near water like this. Like I hate the ocean, I, but I love um, like rivers and streams and like lakes and stuff like this. And there's gonna be falls like further down the trail. But like this right here, even just seeing this like really just does it for me. Like honestly, the ocean can fuck off. If I had to pick what type of mermaid I would be, I think top choice would be like a forest mermaid like this, like a nature mermaid. Wow. <laughs> I'm so proficient with words. It's ama it amazes me sometimes just how poetic I am. Second to that though, I would also really love to be a swamp mermaid. Like I would love to live in New Orleans by the bayou and have like a pet gator that I talk to and I do like cool bog witch things, but I have a sick ass green mossy mermaid tail. That would be like my two, my two ideals. To talk about <laughs> where do I even start is I guess is like the real question because <laughs> um, my life has been as it always has been actually a lot all the fucking time <laughs> which I love feeling great love it I love just never having a moment <laughs> um yeah so like I mentioned earlier in the car whoop, whoop. Um, ow, how do I want to phrase this? Okay, so what happened was basically all toward the tail end of Gemini season and Cancer season, all my relationships, all of my friendships basically all had one massive blow our argument right after another. And it fucking sucked. Um, a lot of things were sad, a lot of feelings were hurt. I cried a lot, like a stupid amount. <laughs> And I think it's because I haven't cried really for like the past year and then suddenly like all of July when I was arguing with each of my respective best friends, I just fucking let go um, and I couldn't stop. And a lot that happened admittedly is like my own fault. I always think it does take like two to tango in any argument or any situation. I really isolated myself from a lot of my friends because of things that I don't know, hopefully one day I'll be able to talk about on my YouTube channel, but it's not anything I can really talk about right now. But basically, stuff that happened to me at 21 that I tried to suppress all throughout 22 just ended up making me just fucking just shut myself off from everyone. And I, I hated who I was. I hated um everything i didn't want to see anyone i didn't want to be with anyone all my friends as much as i love them i didn't want to talk to them anymore i just i couldn't do it i felt so overstimulated and so just overwhelmed and just over it all i guess um if that makes any sense but i had to shut myself off and i didn't do it in like the easiest and i don't know most gentle manner um because when i decide that i don't want to talk to people anymore i just won't no heads up, no warning, I'll just stop. Or if we do talk, I'll be very like robotic about everything. And unfortunately, like that behavior of mine eventually blew up in my face. But also at the same time, like my friends are partially at fault too. And I'm not gonna like say like, you know, like spill tea on my friends. I know that I'm sure they watch this and I'm not gonna be rude about it. But I mean, there are certain things that my friends also did to me that aren't the most kosher. They fucked up too right everyone fucked up all around and it ended up like blowing up massively and suddenly i had to do like an apology to her it fucking felt like i mean everything's okay now is it perfect is it how it used to be absolutely not 
I mean, it's getting there, which I think is the most important. But I, at the same time, after having all these arguments with everyone and just sort of realizing that, you know, maybe my place isn't with those people anymore. Um, which is a really hard conclusion to come to. An independent personality, and I'm finally regaining that again. And if I want to do something, then I want to go do it. I don't want to wait for like Tom, Dick, and Harry to finally fucking agree and then try to go do it with me and then suddenly five years have passed, if that makes sense. Um, if I want to do something, then I want to go do it. Um, and I always want to have my friends, ooh, bleh. I always want to have my friends by my side, but also at the same time, at the end of the day, it's just going to be me by myself when I'm buried six feet under, right? So if I want to get shit done, then I want to get shit done. If that sounds really harsh, and it's something I've always felt for a really long time, but I didn't know how to express it to other people, but I always knew, I always knew how to give it as advice, right? If any of my friends asked me, oh, should I do this um, X, Y, and Z thing, I'd always be like, yeah, wholeheartedly, like go pursue your passions go pursue your goals and dreams that you want fuck everyone else just go do it you know while you're young because you can um because basically the only reason why you can stop doing the things that you want to do is if you have a kid in my eyes so i was always giving that advice out but i was never taking it myself and i think that really just fucked me up and that's what happened all throughout 22 is i became so dependent on thinking that other people would want to pursue my dreams, but they don't. They want to pursue their own dreams. And I was finally able to express that to my friends that I was like, look, I still love you all dearly and I still hold you near and dear in my life. But honestly, I think I'm at the point where, not that I don't need you anymore, I just, I gotta go my own way. <laughs> um, cue Fleetwood Mac, right? I just have to, I just have to be me and it's hard to tell your friends that but if I felt so much better finally saying out loud look I I can't be here I can't be with you I need to I need to do me and if it hurts and you cry then I understand and that fucking sucks but also at the same time big old shoulder shrug I guess like well over a year since I've been out this way and last time I was out here speaking of my friends like not to be a sentimental hoe real quick so when I was younger I read this book called seven best days of my life and in which a woman is like dies prematurely from like some type of accident I think like a car accident or something and she gets sent to heaven and to stay in like the seventh circle of heaven which is like the highest bougiest level of heaven that only like the best people go to she has to write about the seven best days of her life and then from that point god will judge like whether or not she can stay in like that part of heaven um if she's been a good person and i remember i was talking to like one of my um co-workers about that like book just randomly like out of the blue and then she asked me like what would be your seven best days of your life and of course, like, it's like when someone asks you, like, what your favorite movie or, like, book is, you, like, immediately, like, draw a blank. Um, but the first thing, like, the first day that popped up in my head that I would write about was out here um, for, it was, like, the weekend after I turned 22, and all my friends from college, like, came up and visited me. That was probably, like, the last time, if I really think about it, that all of us well, a good majority of us. Unfortunately, like one friend couldn't make it, but like a good majority of us, majority of us were all together. And really before like the real world finally like tore us apart in all these different directions and arguments and achievements and you know, the list goes on and on. Came out here and we came out 
you know, the water. And we swam and we like took pictures and everything and it feel it was only last year, but honestly, if you told me that happened ten years ago, I would have believed you. I would because it just it just seems so distant now. Oh, I just remember being so happy out here and so happy to have all my friends together in in this area that I grew up in and was able to like share something that's like so so what I find to be beautiful, right? Um, I'm not like the biggest nature hoe, I guess, but I find this to be absolutely stunning. And I was so happy that my friends were able to come and visit and I could share that with them and just, just feel good and laugh and joke and take pictures and make fun of one another and be out in the sun and just be so happy. Because that was before like every argument that we had and every nasty thing that we said behind each other's back or all the tears that we cried and everything. It's just, it was before all that. And I, being here brings nothing but like a, a good sadness to my heart, I think if that makes sense. Where I think despite wherever I go in life, wherever my friends go, I know we'll have, we'll have that day that we had here. Um, and God forbid, I swear to God, God forbid, I, if I get dementia like my grandma did or whatever, um, I hope if there's anything I'm able to remember, it would probably be the day that we came out here. What a vlog that would be. <laughs> um, I mean, I was a Girl Scout, but I earned absolutely none of my badges, so I'd be royally fucked if I got lost out here. I feel like I say this every vlog, and I'm sure maybe it gets vaguely frustrating here for all, like, two people that watch my videos, where I always say, I think a big change or something big's coming. And, uh, I mean, I do, but I think I finally have clarity on like what I need to do and what this whole thing has been about this whole vlog or what I've been bullshitting about of realizing that I need to let go but still holding people and memories in my heart but at the same time like just trying to maintain that balance I think is the language I want to use um, Hmm. This is why I write, because when I try to talk about stuff out loud, I feel like I sound like a jackass because I can't make a proper sentence to save my fucking life. Um, but if I write things out, I'm really good at that. <laughs> um, I don't know, I feel like I need to push forward. It just sucks that I don't know where. And my Astro Poets this week basically was like Gemini. There's a yellow tree or off in the distance, you know, are you going to chase your dreams, blah, 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 X, Y, Z. Basically saying, you know, you know what your goal is. Are you going to make the moves, you know, follow your gut, follow your intuition, don't listen to other people. You know what you need to do to go. And it's just like, fuck, dude, <laughs> do I? <laughs> I have successfully made it back to my vehicle and my camera is about near dying. So no fun driving home montage uh, this time. So next time you see me, I'll probably be getting 
G Greek. Oh my god, I look like an ass. <laughs> um, I need a shower. I smell like dirt and sweat. Mostly sweat. Mostly dirt. It's a real toss up. I'm kind of smelling both right now and I hate it. Um, yeah, so next time you see me, I'll probably be home. i um, showered and I don't know. Oh god. Oh. oh. I have officially degreased myself. And it has also started a thunderstorm outside, so I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it's getting spooky up in this beach. Yeah, I officially like washed my hair and exfoliated my entire body to get um sweet, sweet, beautiful mother nature out of me flesh. Um yeah. I'm kind of exhausted. <laughs> I've like I've said this before in a previous video, but like being out in the sun, I don't know if it's just because I'm so pale or I'm whatever, I don't know, but like being outside for like an extended period of time really drains me. So I must be a, an actual vampire. Oh, and real quick too, I forgot to mention, and I wish I could have filmed this when I was in the car because it was truly one of the most chaotic moments of my life. Because on my way home, I had to pee so fucking bad. And the car ahead of me was going like 20 miles per hour. And I also at the same time had one of the worst cramps that I've ever experienced in my entire life that I literally wanted to rip my uterus out of my body. So I had to pee. I had this awful cramp. Some asshole in a fucking Toyota Ford was going 20 miles per hour in like a 55. And on top of it, since I'm a classic rock lesbian, I was listening to the classic rock station on the radio and I'm forgetting what the actual name of the song is, but it's the fucking song that goes, and I'm a simple kind of man. <laughs> it's playing and it was just, it was so chaotic and I really thought, I really thought, what if I just piss myself right here? What if I just pull over and just piss my pants because I'm done? Yeah, that's all. I just wanted to share that real quick. Okay, goodbye now. For real. of a nap and that's kind of why I look a little cracked out right now and I think now I'm just gonna work on some writing and kind of keep it chill the rest of the night and make myself some tea I'm not really doing anything too jazzy I'm not going anywhere I don't really want to do anything else being outside was enough today but like one thing I kind of want to touch upon before I end this whole video and everything um earlier I had mentioned in the woods that about like what my astro poets had said for this week and now i've actually like pulled up the for real tweet and what it says and it says astro poets week 728 in gemini a yellow tree sits there is it just in the distance or is this a dream you'll know for sure soon um um i think that sounds optimistic right do i know my dream is it in the distance am i Am I figuring it out? Am I doing it? Am I... Oh, of course there's construction now. I'm trying to have a fucking moment. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, my Astro Poets makes it sound like I know what my dreams are and they're right in the distance. I'm gonna be achieving them soon, but also any other time I've read anything at all in my life. The color yellow has never really been all that good of a color, I think. Like, the first story I think of is, like, the yellow wallpaper where the lady loses her shit. And, like, am I gonna lose my shit? Probably. When haven't I? I've lost my shit multiple times here on this channel. Ah, oh, fuck. And just thinking about everything that I said earlier in the day in terms of having everyone else chase their dreams and then me finally coming into my own after dealing with some not so hot trauma. It says the yellow tree, meaning there's just one tree 
and not multiple trees. And that's the problem though, is I'm, I'm someone with multiple dreams and hopes and ideas all the time. I couldn't imagine just only having one tree. I wanna have a whole forest. It's like, okay, so I have this one woman, she's 94, she's a client of mine, and she's the sweetest thing, and I have this amazing connection with her. Um, she just thinks the, the sun, the moon, the stars of me, right? And for no reason at all, like genuinely no reason at all, she just, the first time she saw me, she just couldn't believe how beautiful I was, is what she kept saying, and how I looked like I just had it all together. And she was convinced, convinced, that I was gonna be a movie star. That I had to be, that no producer would pass up on me. That I was funny and she kept saying how tall I was, which I am, because this woman's like 4'11", and I'm 5'8 and a half, so I totally look like a tank next to this frail, frail woman. And when I told her how I write and stuff, and that I do a, like a little bit of filming, she thought like I meant photography, but whatever, right? Um, she was like, Oh, you're gonna be in the movies then. You have to be. Um, you belong in front of a camera. You photographers will love you, directors will love you, you're so much. And I was just like, fuck, that sounds rad. I really wish I could just have a moment and my dad would not be vacuuming the car right now. It's just <laughs> Why just be in a movie? Why couldn't I like write a movie and direct it too and I don't know, produce it and star in it and make it my own thing and put it out there all by myself. That sounds just as awesome as being in a movie. I want to do everything, you know? And it's like, this is what I mean. I can't have just one tree. Sometimes I just worry that I'm not doing enough every day to achieve all these ideas that I have. And that, you know, I don't want to die just being, you know, known as the, as the girl who had all these dreams, but nothing ever really came of them. And that fucking, like that, right there terrifies me and that's why i always give the advice to my friends that if they have an idea to just go ahead and pursue it wholeheartedly because what if you just get a fucking aneurysm or you get hit by a car and then that's it and then you just die and you didn't do what you wanted to do but also doing what you want to do is fucking terrifying and i think that's why i'm still in this pink bedroom <laughs> I like to think I'm doing enough, but also at the same time, you know what I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do as soon as I'm done filming? I'm gonna write, probably gonna work on like a shitty little poem, because I have an idea, but then after that, I'm probably gonna go back to setting up, um, a new blog that I made on tumblr.com. I know, I know, it's 2019 and I'm back on that hellhole. <laughs> um, and this blog will be about spider woman because i'm still on that fucking train i refuse to let it go and i know I, a couple weeks ago i posted that jessica drew video and now i just decided i'm gonna write it essentially i'm just gonna write fan fiction now on the internet but fuck that's how i started writing in the first place that's how i got into writing was writing fan fiction in like the seventh grade for like criminal minds and teen wolf so why not get back in the game right <laughs> Another big reason why I started writing, because I remember when I was little, I hated reading so much. I hated reading because nothing that we were reading in class is what I wanted to read. I didn't care. I hated it. I want. I remember I wanted, really wanted to read um, stories about fairies, and we weren't reading stories about fairies. So I just went home one day after school and just wrote a story about fairies and then read that and just finally get it out there. I'm sure someone else will enjoy it. And if anything, I'll enjoy it. So that'll be sick, I guess. And also at the same time, I know I dog on myself, but what if it it could become something? I mean, look at Thor, for example. Um, no one can tell me that 2012 Tumblr fan fiction did not have a great influence on how Thor developed as a character and who we see now. Make myself some tea and write this stupid Spider Woman story. Cause I mean, I have no problem sharing it. I know it's super dorky, but fucking who cares anymore, honestly. I mean, I care, but I don't care. But I like kinda care. We'll see. Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna close out the vlog. I know it's early, but mom is tired. She's had a day. I've been up since 6 a.m. So, I hope you have a good rest of your day or night or wherever this video finds you and I'll catch you next time. I love you.
Oh, and be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And now I'll catch you next time. I love you. I love you. I love you. I do. I really do. Okay, bye. I love you. I love you. Bye.